All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another Genshin Impact playthrough session. Kaedehara Kazuha is officially out, and uh, we're going to try our best to bring this boy home. We're going to be trying to go for C2, and uh, uh, as usual, we're going to be doing the weekly bosses and going for a bunch of other things in the process as well. First things first, really quick, just want to give you guys a quick little update. So I'm pretty sure Zhao is going to hit Friendship 10 today. I have my daily bot, my dailies to do and the weekly bosses to do before we do the, the Archon quest. Amber is super close to friendship 10 however i feel like we're gonna have to wait until the next streaming session but she'll definitely be friendship 10 by the next stream which is great and noelle is still doing pretty strong she's halfway to friendship 9 and she is my current healer for the game ladies and gentlemen boys and girls we are ready to pull for Kaedehara Kazuha, the latest character for the second half of version 1.6, the first Inazuma character, the new character that I'm gonna be showcasing most likely until Inazuma releases, maybe we'll keep him in the party. I'm gonna be leveling him up, I'm gonna be leveling up the Freedom Sworn weapon, that's gonna be his main weapon, it also builds with Elemental Mastery. I'm going for C2 Kazuha, which means I need three Kazuha. I'm gonna be really sad if uh, I hit like double pity like every single time. I really want RNG to be on my side. We did pull for eula last eula was the last character i pulled for so i'm gonna hit a 50 50 no matter what um and hopefully we win the 50 50 every time i won the 50 50 for every single eula that i got for my c6 eula which was really great so yeah best of luck hopefully to me rn jesus miholio please bless me and my stream with the power to to spend as little money as possible and get the most reward out of it come on okay all right y'all can y'all can be quiet now okay i didn't get it in the first 10 pull okay everyone's out here everyone's out to get me these days because uh you know they see one good pull during a version update and they're like arnold we all know you're gonna get it hey my boy razor i fucking miss you buddy we're probably gonna be using razor for uh the boreas fights because if i have zhao and kazuha in that fight i'm not gonna get anywhere because he's immune to to animo all right second 10 pull 20 pulls in okay 20 pulls and nothing hey you know what we take those you gotta take the good with the bad this is all weapon experience you know what? I miss you. Like the game's just trying to connect me with my boy Razor. Yeah, I got I got Razor C6 like during like 1.0. I just I just miss him. I miss Razor so much. He's my boy. He's my favorite character. And uh, you know, any excuse to see, I know we just saw him in the freaking Midsummer Island adventure, which I was not expecting, but uh it's just great overall to have him. Okay, let's see. All right, here we go. 30 pulls. Oh, please. If you give me a Mona or a fucking Kaching, I am gonna lose my shit. Please. Please. Kazuha. Oh. Oh. That kind of scared me. <laughs> All right, we got Bennett. That's cool. Please. Oh, please, please, please. Oh my god, dude. I got a razor on every single one of these temples. Come on. Uh, you know what? You know what? I deserve that. I don't remember the last time I did a 10 pull on a new character and lost the 50-50. I don't know if this is the ninth character or the 10th one. Fuck, dude. They just want to keep giving me raise, bro. I got fucking four razors already. If I didn't have a razor, he would already be C3 right now. Jesus, man. I know I'm the razor fanboy over here. I know razor's my favorite character, but come on, miHoYo. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. That's gonna that's gonna reset us. And uh, now we now we're in it. Now we're in it for the long haul, guys. I actually think I jinxed myself. No no cap. I actually think I jinxed myself. So. The next five star, we got a Rosario, so we literally just pulled every character but Kazuha. Well, I um, we're probably going to we're probably going to double pity. I literally fucking, I literally jinxed myself, dude. And I want to see too. Is this what's happening, Mihoyo? Have you betrayed me? Yeah. Sheesh! Terracoon, help me out, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> Jericoon came through for your boy. <laughs> this one, there's not as much fanfare here. It's pretty much guaranteed. Let's 
fucking go, dude. I'm starting to sweat right now, chat, okay? My wallet's not looking too good. My bank account's in shambles. Chair Coon just came through for your boy. Yo, can I get another Kazuha, please? That would be absolutely pog. Yeah, I'll take, I'll take. Yeah, I'll take that too. We got three characters and a four-star weapon. Pog. Kaedehara Kazuha, a wandering samurai from Inazuma who is currently with Liyue's Crux Fleet. A gentle and carefree soul whose heart hides a great many burdens from the past. That's one down. We, uh, we're looking for, for two more there. And we got one. I really, 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 really want C2. So if I do not get it, dude. I literally just C6 Razor. Just C6 Razor, dude. The last nine months of this game, I've been on top. I've been top dog. Now, there's nothing but pain. But me and Chair Coon will rise to the occasion. Okay. Okay. 50 50. Chair Coon and I are two becomes one. Nothing can break our bond. We've been through some shit that most people wouldn't even survive through. Chair Coon has literally carried me out of the darkest times in my life, and I him. And now, in this moment, on twitch.tv forward slash murder of birds, we're going to manifest Kaede Harakazuha. What the fuck is with all these goddamn weapons? Can <laughs> Come on, dude. I we're not asking for much. All right, we're small time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, spoiler alert, guys. Kazuo was actually a pyro user the entire time. I don't know if Miho, you told you that, but um, we got him. Yay, we got him. I literally think... I literally think my luck has officially run out. <laughs> oh, my fucking god holy shit is it getting hot in here or am i or am i just having a fucking panic attack oh my god what happened to me i fell off dude holy shit razor bro i love you but stop how many fucking razors have we gotten today bro i literally see six razor like eight times in the course of like the last 20 minutes i just want the kid this isn't even fucking this isn't even good like i can't even get hyped for this shit also i think we just got fucking kazuha and fucking 20 pulls off of that after that last one but like what the fuck am i really supposed to be hyped that i'm getting kazuha off of fucking guaranteed pity i'm happy but like bruh i lost two 50 50s this is some bullshit mihoyo this isn't what we agreed on all right when i signed on that dotted line you motherfuckers guaranteed me five stars all right you guys said people would never believe it i'd, I'd grow massively on twitch i do all these crazy things because rng jesus was on my side i'm a fucking laughing son look at people are spamming fucking lol in chat oh my god this is not it chief and it's like fucking 120 degrees i'm like burning up over here and y'all are sending my blood pressure through the fucking roof you guys ever notice that bennett also kind of looks like Kazuha? <laughs> i'm losing my fucking mind i'm literally going crazy in real time do we have any believers in chat do you guys think i can get kazuha in 56 pulls nope well guess what fuck you too everyone who said no i'm gonna remember you and i'm gonna remember this day and when it matters most I'm gonna be like, hey, remember that day you didn't believe in me and my 56 wishes? We got some fucking believers in this chat, okay? I'm bringing this kid home whether he likes it or not, all right? I'm taking you away from your abusive household and I'm giving you a nice home here at twitch.tv forward slash murderbirds and we're gonna do this shit right fucking now. Well, not right now. I meant that like metaphorically, like right now in the next 56 pulls, not like right that 10 pull yeah these are just warm-ups guys this next fucking 10 pull better be care this this i better win this next 50 50 or i'm gonna be livid Bruh. why why are you doing this to me <gasps> another 
mother fucking razor bro this is literally what i get they were like arnold we gave you your two favorite characters last update we gave you like fucking 20 razors how dare you ask us for more i got how many razors is this like straight up i think this is like 10 or 11 razors i've gotten now is he still your favorite i fucking love razor razor will always be my favorite but uh this is a little excessive c20 this is it guys i got a 10 pull and a motherfucking dream Oh shit, we got, we got him. We got Kazuha, guys. Let's go. Copium. I'm so sad. Oh my God. Okay. I still have some star glitter left over. I, no, not star glitter. Um, I still think I have some Genesis crystals left over. I was hoping not to spend them because I literally put like these primos and these wishes were supposed to hopefully be for Kazuha and the next banner, which is most likely going to be Ayaka. But now I got to dip into Inazuma's budget, which is uh not good. And if I lose this fucking 10 pole, if I lose this 50-50... I am going to cry. I'm literally gonna cry live on stream if I don't get this fucking 50-50. If you give me another fucking Mona, if you give me another fucking Mona or Kaching, we're gonna have problems. I will literally fight you on the side of the street, mihoyo. You got the vision right. You got the character wrong. And I lost three 50 50s. Three. I've never lost that many 50 50s in my fucking life. And by life, I mean in the nine months that I've been playing this fucking game. Oh my God. All I wanted to do is play Genshin Impact, pop off in chat, talk about lore and characters and showcase them and be entertaining and have a community that, 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 that has a shared interest in a game that we all know and love. And I can't get a fucking character three times without an arm and a leg. And you expect me to be excited that now I can't even be hyped that I got Kazuha period because every Kazuha I got was guaranteed huh but razor oh but razor let's talk about razor i guarantee i'm gonna get another fucking razor in this goddamn temple what they fucking do what is happening <laughs> what is happening thank fucking god i make more money in this game than i spend also maya 156 thank you so much for subscribing with your one and only twitch prime for the month i need every fucking penny i can get because mihoyo is screwing me over left right and center so thank you guys so much for the support thank you thank you thank you fuck i feel like he can't be my favorite character now like <laughs> Oh, Razor. Oh, hey, yo. You know what? You know what? RNG actually didn't screw me over that bad. We didn't get another Razor. I'm gonna go. All right, we, we cool? I, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna... A few minutes later. Oh, why? What did I do? Is it because I prefer lore over builds and guides and spiral abyss? Dude, I don't need copium, all right? I need hopium. <laughs> Fuck you, mihoyo. You really made me go to triple fucking pity? And you expect me to be excited when I finally get the character that I want? Also, yo, C2, let's go! This is the same. I feel like I'm stuck in a fucking loop. This is literally, I said it before and I'll say it again. Bennett kind of looks like Kazuha right now. They fucking got me twice on the same fucking pull, the same exact characters. I guarantee fucking to you, the weapons are exactly the same. I'm so scared to like play this game now. Yo, gotcha games changes a man. Like, gotcha games change you forever who was i before this pulling session i really like mihoyo just literally took me on a fucking ride i see the world so differently now colors are a lot dimmer and faded i smile less i laugh less i'm like scared for the next character to come out now <laughs>
Oh my god, I cannot believe that fucking happened, dude. That was not supposed to happen. Uh, somebody at Miholio dropped the ball. I just had to go for the fucking C2, didn't I? I just had to go for C2. Even Kazuha doesn't look happy. What the fuck? He's like frowning. He's like, damn, why couldn't Miholio just give me to Arnold under better circumstances? Now there's a negative connotation linked to me for all time. Thanks a lot, Miholio. Let me play a freaking song for you on the tiniest leaf possible. Oh my god. Despite how things may have turned out, I'm actually really happy that we got him. All right, so we got his Scarlet Hills decreases Chihayabudu's cooldown by 10%. Using Kazuha Slash resets the cooldown of Chihayabudu. The Autumn Whirlwind field created by Kazuha Slash has the following effects. Increases Kaede Harakaza's own elemental mastery by 200. Increases the elemental mastery of characters within the field by 200. The elemental mastery stackings of this constellation does not stack. That's fucking crazy. 200 elemental elemental mastery on top of what's built into his kit on top of the weapon that i'm going to be running for him on top of whatever elemental mastery i get for artifacts on top of other characters like fucking diona that's broken af all right and i guess for the sake of it uh we got gene to c5 i wish it was under different circumstances but hey it is what it is we're one away from c6 and her and uh Oh, we C6 D Luke? Flaming Sword, Nemesis of the Dark. What the fuck? I did not know I had D Luke C5. I thought my D Luke was like C3, C4. That's a low key pog right there. I'm eventually gonna use D Luke because it's only Friendship 6. So eventually I will go back to using D Luke, and a C6 D Luke sounds pretty pog. Holy shit, that's dope. Okay, we are going to be leveling up Kazuha to max. Oh, we're gonna get him to level 80 as per usual. All right, here we go. We got him to, uh,. Level 80, max ascension, Og. Nice. As one travels the world, sorrows and frustrations are bound to journey with you. But I find that I've grown since meeting you. Aww. Both in martial arts and in strength of character. Well, I've grown- I'm confident that I will be more at ease in life from this point forth. You know what? That's great to hear. I feel like I've grown poorer since knowing you. It is what it is. You got to take the good with the bad, all things considered. All right, so we are going to be running him with the Freedom Sworn. It builds up into Elemental Mastery. I think this weapon was also tailor-made for him. Wow, look at that. 608 base attack, 189 Elemental Mastery. Okay, so we have Kazuha level 80 with the Freedom Sworn weapon level 90, running four-piece Viridescent Venerer. Constellation 2. We're going to be working on his talents next. Really, really bad crit rate to crit damage ratio 747 elemental mastery of which i'm pretty sure when you use his kazuha slash his elemental mastery will jump by 200 making it 947 on top of like whatever other character i think diona helps out with elemental mastery as well okay so we're gonna get everything to six all right so i'm gonna do one for his one for his skill and i'll do one for his ultimate oh no i actually want to go even further beyond fuck it seven eight eight is the final verdict all right so we're gonna go and showcase kazu i'm gonna go and do my uh my daily commissions and then the weekly boss and uh see how we do uh so what do you guys think of a team what do you guys think of kazuha diona albedo and rosaria what do you think of that team does that sound good i wish i could showcase right now but like realistically i want to prioritize friendship experience so i really can't do that right now uh-oh not uh not my best moment Let's the drop wind. these guys up and bring them down. Oh boy. Well, let's do one of these. Swirl them up, bring them down. 10,000! Alright, hold up. Oh, he's still inflicted. Okay, never mind. Bro, I just did 10,000 fucking animal damage. Holy shit. Hello, gentlemen. Nice to see you here. How's it going? Bop. Oh my god. Yo, pull him in. Oh 
my, and look at that. He brings all the materials to you. Oh my God. I couldn't even see the fucking damage I did. They just got deleted. Holy shit, that was fun. Oh my God. God, I love Kazuha already. I actually might be triple crowning him. Beto hit the jackpot, recruit him. Yo, no bullshit. Yo, she, uh, she lucked out. She got somebody that's super skilled. Another thing too, that I haven't addressed much at all right now. I, I really like his voice acting too. I really like the voice that they have for him. That's another, I think that's like the main appeal for why I like Albedo so much. I know a lot of people shit talk on the dub or whatever, but I love the dub of this game. I have no complaints or anything about it. I love the dub. Um, I actually like, that's a big thing I love about Albedo. I love his manner of speaking. I love his mannerisms. I, I love the way he talks. I love how he talks. Um, and I, I think that's like a big appeal for this kid too. All right. So we just did our daily commissions. I'm going to come over here and grab this. I think Zhao, Zhao should be friendship 10 right now. Well, actually, if he's not friendship 10 right now, he'll be friendship 10 right there just got him we just got you out of friendship 10 poggers hey we got mask he longs for a day to come when he will wear the mask and dance not to conquer demons but to the tune of the flute amidst a sea of flowers yo shout out to venti my boy yo that's another i think that's 16 no no that's 17 characters that i've gotten to level to level 10 eula was the 16th one that got me that achievement he is now friendship 10 amber super close depending on how close we get her after we do the bosses i'll use some of my fragile resin if we can get two characters to friendship 10 in one stream that uh that'd be great i just thought of something isn't the statue of the seven thing they built after the first seven were formed i wonder if in inazuma and the other regions we may find statues of the first seven zhang li and venti were a part of the original these other new archons might have torn down the old statue of the sevens and put up new ones in their image you know what i mean just because like especially with how some of these archons are acting like ball like she's like she's on like a fucking power trip right now so i wouldn't be surprised if she like was like oh i'm the new archon tear down these old statue of the sevens and put these new ones in my image Punishment. oh you've got to be fucking kidding me the birds come oh my god rosaria's fucking ult hit the floor it didn't even hit Devalin on his neck. I hate this boss so much. He's so annoying. I'm so glad the AOE caught that that cryo. All right. Anyways, this is such a bad session. Jesus. All right. So dream solving prototypes. I know my RNG has been shit today, but hopefully we can turn that around. All right. We got a claw. Okay. You know what? We got a claw. I'll take it. I'll take it. We got a sigh as well. We also got a really bad artifact. Nothing new there. Andreas. I got to switch it up a bit because uh, Rosaria and uh, Kazuha are both going to be immune. All right. Go. Go ham razor! Do your thing, big bo big dog! Twenty two K damage? Hell yeah. Oh my Bro, what the fuck? My razor's cracked! Dude, when he ulted, I was hitting for like 18,000 per hit. Oh my god. Yo, I can't wait to use Razor in the Spiral Abyss. That's gonna be so fun. Holy shit, Ray. Oh! Oh, my bad. I forgot to switch back to Kazuha. It's all good. Kazuha is not gonna get experience for this fight, but it's all good. Foul legacy. The devouring teeth. <laughs> Shut up, Paimon. <laughs> Damn. Child's out here acting up. Let's do one of these. Oh, we got a dream solvent. Nice. As one with All right, here we go. No escape. You can't run. Leave it all to me. Nice. Sooner or later. Uh, that was a little uh that was a little all over the place, not gonna lie. Let's see, let's see. Ah, we didn't get anything that great. Uh, I do want to see how far we have for Amber before she's friendship 10, because she was super, super close before those fights. Oh, we managed to get her. Yo, let's go. I actually don't have to use a fragile resin. Good shit. Two characters to friendship 10 in one stream session. We just got Zhao to friendship 10, Pog. And uh, now Amber, that's six, uh, that's 18 characters at friendship 10 so far. That's more than half of the roster, which is, which I'm really happy about. Nice. Okay, let's see what hers is. It's probably like Outrider or something. Oh, no, the Baron Bunny. That's right. <laughs> it's a Baron Bunny. Ah, oh, that's so good. That's so good. Holy shit, dude. We are cleaning up these characters like nothing.
nothing. Sweet. So yeah, we got the Zhao mask. That looks so sick. And we also have the Baron bunny. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I really want Kazuha's. This looks so sick, dude. Autumn maple viewing. That looks so nice. Really, really, really want this one next. That's crazy, chat. Remember before I was like, yeah, I don't use Amber. And uh, Misty Dungeon, I was like, Amber, actually pretty pog. And then I had her in my party. Now she's maxed. I never thought I'd see it. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're back with the continuation of the Genshin Impact playthrough session. We got Kazuha. We did a full showcase of him with daily commissions, the weekly bosses. Tried a little bit of the Legend of the Vagabond Sword event, but I'm going to leave that for off stream just because it seemed a little bit like tedious to kind of go through the process of just getting the points that I already knew I wanted to get for those rewards. So I'm going to do that off stream and I kind of wanted to keep things moving with the Archon quest that we have right now. Autumn winds, Scarlet leaves. Though you have returned from the darkness of that cave into the light, the pain of parting remains in your heart. What are the gods motives? Where did your sibling go? Where may the truth of this world be found? Whatever the case may be, you are resolved to continue onward to reach the end of your journey. Wow. So they actually just applied what we had done from like, we will be reunited like with Dainsleaf and our sister. A path through the storm. Taking the view outside of Liyue Harbor to collect your thoughts. You share your feelings with Paimon before embarking on the next phase of your journey. 700 adventure experience. Pog. Okay. Wow. So it's all the way over there so we're gonna have to travel um are you okay Paimon never imagined your sister would have sided with the abyss yeah i'm feeling a little better well keep your chin up Paimon believes in both of you and when the going gets tough Aww. the tough get going right yeah you're right she said we needed to reach the end of our journey Paimon bet she still has lots more to tell us and we won't find out what this journey is or where it will end unless we keep going. Thanks, Pi. Hey, at least Paimon knows how to cheer us up. Aw, uh, don't mention it, partner. Travel buddies are supposed to look out for one another. <laughs> Although, where should we go next? If we want to continue with the journey... I still need hmm. to find that god. Yeah, the god that no one has brought up or talked about or mentioned at all. Oh, you mean the god that took your sister away in the first place? Mm-hmm. You're right. After all, everything that followed, all this confusion, it all started with her. I need answers from her. Yeah, Paimon bet she's the key to understanding this whole mystery. Well, we've ruled out two gods so far, the Animal and Geo Archons. <laughs> so, next... Let's find the Electro Archon. Let's go to Inazuma. Hmm, Paimon doesn't think we can simply walk into Inazuma... Zhang Li said it was a close <laughs> Considering mission. it's in the ocean. We'll have to find some other way in. Beto. <gasps> Why don't we ask someone from Inazuma how to gain entrance? Maybe we'll have to ask Atsuko, because she's an Inazuma character that's in Liyue. And we've talked to her before, like when we talked to all the characters in, in the thing. Let's try and think of someone. Oh, Paimon spotted someone already. Yo! Atsuko, in Liyue Harbor. Holy she's shit! From Inazuma. Bro, I'm so glad I talked to all the NPCs while I was here. Cause she's the one that always stood out in my mind. I was like, wait, so she's actually an Inazuma character. Let's see what she has to say. Holy shit, that's so fucking cool. Nice. Autumn winds, scarlet leaves. Hog. Nice, nice, nice. Ask Atsuko how she traveled from Inazuma. All right, let's do that. Atsuko, I knew we'd see you again, my girl. Uh, oh. She's like looking for a job last Hello. time. Hello. Oh, uh, I mean, good fortune, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm she's still, still learning, learning to talk like a local. <laughs> yep, yep. Is there anything I can help you with? We wanted to ask, how do we get into Inazuma? Why would you want to do that? Oh, so that's why you're here. Well, there is a way. Great! We came to the right person! Hog. But the chance of success is incredibly small. Huh. Incredibly small? Then how did you get out of Inazuma in the first place? It was in leaving Inazuma that I found out just how dangerous mm. this method truly was. All I had to rely on was a little wooden raft that I'd put together myself. Wow. There was a storm raging ahead of me, and my pursuers were close on my tail. I wonder if Ball is creating those storms to keep people from leaving. After I'd escaped their clutches, I floated on the open ocean for, I don't know how many days. My rations and fresh water supplies soon ran out, and I remember getting to the point where I was sure I'd reached the end. Then, I blacked out, but to my surprise, mm. my journey didn't end there. Or to put it another way, 
a new beginning found me. There was a boatman that was here. I think he said he helped somebody. I wonder if it was her. Ah, uh, that's right. I escaped by the skin of my teeth. Uh. The fact that I'm even alive to tell the tale must be a sign that the gods were watching over me. The same god that kept you there? What a horrible journey! And you set off knowing how dangerous it was? Why? Well, because everything is just too restrictive over there. Mm. The atmosphere is so stifling. Oh. The Kanjo Commission subjects everyone leaving or entering the nation to a protracted approval process, and... I felt like I didn't belong there. The Kanjo Commission? Kanjo Commission? What's that? Is that like the ministry here? Along with the other two commissions, they oversee everything in Inazuma. Okay. We usually collectively refer to them as the Tri-Commission. I suppose they're equivalent to the eight trades under the Liyu Echising. Okay, that makes sense. One of the obligations of the Kanjo Commission is to conduct rigorous identity checks on all individuals leaving or entering in Azuma. All non-nationals are processed centrally on Rito upon arrival. Meanwhile, the Tenryo Commission is responsible for implementing the recently promulgated Vision Hunt Decree. Oh, okay. They act like the executive arm of the Raiden Shogun's rule. Loyal, yet unfeeling. It doesn't feel good to speak ill of my home like this. But after spending so long under that oppressive atmosphere, I begin to lose all hope for the future. What I mean to say is, Unless you have an extremely compelling reason to go to Inazuma, mm. you should abandon your plans of trying to get there. I have a compelling reason. <sighs> you should know that the sea around Inazuma mm -hmm. is engulfed in a perpetual tempest of wind and rain. Supposing you survive that, you would still need to get past the samurai guards that enforce the Sakoku Decree the closed nation policy of Inazuma. Okay, so we actually might be fighting the military. And even if you did manage to find a way, you'd still have to produce the necessary documentation at the Rito Center for processing Outlanders. The Rito Center. Otherwise, you'd be kicked out immediately. So we need to uh, fake some transcripts, fake some forms, and uh, you know, go about our business that way. Seems like they really don't want anyone setting foot in Inazuma, huh? But they have Rito? They only set that up as a port to guarantee a supply of goods and information to the island. Most outlanders would be unable to acquire the documentation needed. Yanfei, get me my papers. But if you really are set on going, there is one thing you could try. Uh, the raft idea sounds a little on the dangerous <laughs> side. Plus, Paimon would definitely get seasick. That's not what I meant. Hmm. You could ask someone from the Crux Fleet Yo! if they have some way of getting you to Inazuma. Let's go. They're well known in Liyue. Thank you, Mihoyo. Voyaging far and wide has made them a well-traveled group with a wide range of experiences. Yep. They may just know how to break through the storm. But it's an armed fleet, right? Why would they agree to a request like this? That part is up to you. If you're able to persuade their captain, Beido, then the hardest part will be out of the way. The Beido. The Alcor is the flagship of the Crux fleet. I heard that it's currently anchored by Guyunstone Forest yep. on a supply run. It's always. This might be your best chance. It's always anchored at the Guyunstone Forest. Then there's no time to lose. Let's go find Captain Beto. Let's go. Finally, they put some respect on her name. All right, so we got to go to the Alcor. I didn't know that I didn't know that that's where her ship was called, the Alcor, cuz it's like the only ship. It's like it's a part of a fleet, but I don't see any other ships around. That's her, her ship, it's the ship. Beto, where you at? Yo, they're both here. You're finally back on your damn ship. Hmm. Who have we got here? Wait, I know you. You're that traveler, aren't you? <laughs> the one who fought against the Fatui in Osile, right? Uh, have we met? <laughs> Ningguang told me about you. A traveler of great insight and oh, remarkable I'm so skill happy. saved Liyue, she said. <laughs> She's actually in the game. She's a hard one to please, so praise from her is high praise indeed. You don't say. I remember thinking at the time that it'd be good to meet you in person. Finally! It took me whole your nine months! Judging by the clothes on your back and this floating thing, <laughs> I guess that time has come. <laughs> the floating thing. Hey! The name's not floating thing! It's Paimon! Paimon? Hmm. <laughs> what a fascinating being. You two give off not only the essence of wind and earth, oh, but shit. also the stars. Of... Yes, the stars. He's on to us. Huh? The fragrance of what now? That's the weirdest compliment Paimon's ever heard. Pay it no heed. I mean only to say I am certain that it is by fate 
not chance alone, that we should meet. And that gives our encounter meaning. This guy a bard by any chance? You're not far off, but they go by a different name in Inazuma. Samurai? This young man is Kaidahara Kazuha, a temporary addition to my crew for reasons I won't bore you with. <laughs> Occasionally, he opens his mouth and flowers come out instead of words. For reasons I don't want to bore you with, watch his character teaser. With this fine ship and the soft sea breeze. Oh, Beto. Would it not be romantically irresponsible of me not to acknowledge it with a line or two of poetry? <laughs> well, I can't argue with that. Okay, then. Once the clash is underway, I'll give you a chance to perform. Only if the mood takes me, of course. Sam, thick thighs poetry save lives. Poetry's sake, I'm looking respectfully, chat. Hey, you don't want to pass this opportunity up too easily. Especially seeing as our great hero here might be in attendance. Oh, wait a minute. What's the clash? Also, oh, yeah. Just to clarify, by great hero, do you mean... Huh? I thought you might be here to sign up. You're telling me you've never even heard of it? The Crux Clash is a martial arts tournament that I hold. Nice. There'll be a whole bunch of folks taking part to showcase their talents. I'm about to body everybody. There are two important rules. One, competitors must be renowned fighters. We want those with real martial arts ability, not just people taking part for the fun of it. So, you've got nothing to worry about there? I don't think there's anyone out there who hasn't heard of you. Two, you can't take part if you've got a vision. What? Uh Otherwise, things get a little... one side. <laughs> I mean, damn, that's a fucking loophole waiting to happen. I don't have a vision, but... Damn. <laughs> you must be feeling confident, but oh, you might want to watch out. There are a few crouching tigers and hidden dragons lurking around in Liyue. Yo, she said the thing. That's a movie. And with Liyue's savior taking part in the tournament, now that's going to turn a few heads. Mm. I think we can expect a healthy turnout this time. Interesting. So a bunch of normies, essentially. But we didn't come here to take part in a martial arts tournament. Well, before you dismiss the idea completely, you might be interested to hear that the prize this time around is particularly sought after <laughs> a trip to inazuma get this it's a masterless vision wait what supplied by myself as a matter of fact if the tournament champion can reawaken that vision it belongs to them wait what that that's a thing is there really such thing as a masterless vision why doesn't it have a master when a vision bearer dies the light in their vision will fade away but the shell that housed that light remains. As for whether this shell has any practical application, well, this remains to be seen. But my intuition tells me that while it remains in the world, it may just be possible for someone else to inherit it. But I mean, isn't the power bestowed by God? So like, if the vision bearer dies, who's to say that someone else can like reignite it and make it theirs? Like, wouldn't that person then still need the God's blessing? Yep. And the way I see it, a vision is a badge of recognition from the gods. So if anyone's able to rekindle it, it's got to be an individual of exceptional yeah. strength and talent. Yo, you know what I just thought of? You know how like Venti wears a vision around to kind of like create this illusion that he's not a god because he has a gnosis? I wonder, you know, like how we don't have a vision and we like run around and use our abilities and that can like be pretty sus. I wonder if we get this vision, if that would be like our kind of, uh, you know what I mean? Like we can use that as an excuse of like, oh, I do have a vision. See, here it is. When it in reality, we're not, you know, we're doing our own thing without it. Organizing the Clash is my way of uncovering hidden talents. And hopefully this time, getting a vision to glow again. So if you don't have a vision, this is the perfect opportunity to get your hands on one of your very own. A vision is of no use to me. To be honest, I'm not interested. Yeah, we're interested in getting to Inazuma, not fighting in some tournament. Inazuma? Uh-oh. You want to go there uh oh he's like bro you do not want to do that <laughs> well why didn't you say so inazuma no sweat in that case if you win the tournament i'll give you a choice oh masterless vision or a ticket to inazuma aboard the alcor up to you damn why not both you just want him to take part in your tournament yeah he brings around a bunch of people <laughs> what's wrong with that the more talent we have the yeah. better the tournament will be I couldn't let a competitor like you fall through the net. What are we going to do? <sighs> Looks like we pretty much have to do this tournament if we want to get to Inazuma, huh? Mm -hmm. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Great. Then let's get you signed up. Head to the tournament arena in Guyun Stone Forest. Kazuha and I will be over soon. Seems like it will only be a matter of time before the answer is revealed. As one with wind and cloud. 
into the wind. Wow. <laughs> Look at my elemental mastery, dude. 1,147. What the fuck? 583 percent oh my goodness i'm busted i'm cracked out of my mind all right you know what i kind of want to test this out on these um ruin guards oh oh they're gone for the tournament damn i just got jabated all right so diona albedo this ancient power kazuha the birds call the wind check 1,272? 622.1% swirl damage. Oh my god. Chinks a village arm wrestling champion, huh? Oh my god. Uh, all right, you're signed up. What the fuck? Is the bar that low? An arm wrestling champion. You ever see, you know, you know who lives in Chinksa Village? A bunch of old people and a bunch of kids. Congratulations. You're the fucking you're the best. Next, please. What's your name? Oh my god, that's so embarrassing. Wait, uh, aren't you? Yes, I am. <gasps> Did I hear that right? Is it really them? Aren't they a vision bearer though? Why are they trying to enter the clash? Oh! You, you, you didn't see any visions here. Uh, I, I have to ask, aren't you the traveler that helped Liyue fight off that ancient god? Oh, it's really him! The one that spoke with Lady Kuching at the Rite of Parting. Oh, oh, I wonder if I can get his autograph later. Look at Paimon over here. She's like, yeah, I taught him everything he knows. I trust you are aware that uh, only those without visions can enter the tournament? I don't have one. Really? But, but from what I've heard, the things you're capable of in combat are nothing short of extraordinary. You walk into the most dangerous situations imaginable, face off against all sorts of monsters, mm -hmm. even the Fatui, and always come out on top. Technically, we don't have a vision, but we have all of the effects of a vision. Yep. He still doesn't have a vision, though. See for yourself. Uh, my apologies. <laughs> I didn't mean to be rude. I'm sure a great hero like yourself would have no reason to lie. Now, could I ask you to provide a few claims to fame? Lady, you just mentioned them to me. Uh, it's just a formality for you, of course, oh, but okay. I have to make a record of competitors' achievements as part of the sign-up process. Makes sense. So far, I've got defeated the ancient god Osile, so that's one. Ooh. Do you have any others? I'm going to say the honorary knight. Yeah. Also, don't forget to mention that the previous battles include, <laughs> but are not limited to, Storm Terror, Devalin, and Fatui Harbinger Child. All right. Well, Paimon, I stayed humble, and Paimon was like, yo, I'm, I'm going all out. Whoa. <laughs> Stay humble. Be humble. Paimon's got your back. Great. Your registration is complete. Now, a brief word about the prize. A great hero such as yourself can surely only be here for one thing. Mm -mm. To win the tournament oh, and there claim it is. the grand prize. Namely, a vision. Oh, we're not wow, here for that. Wow, it's clear. We're here because Captain Beto promised to take us to Inazuma if we win the tournament. There's another prize, too? Oh, oh first I've heard of it. Well, I mean, it's, it's exclusive to me. Beto must have upped the stakes this time to attract top talent. But why would anyone want to go somewhere? as dangerous as Inazuma. Because I'm always looking for a challenge. Danger is my middle name. I see. So, I take it you discussed your terms with Beto in advance then. Everyone's misunderstanding the situation? Well, nobody expected you to sign up to a tournament like this. I, I can hardly believe it myself, to be honest. Anyway, the qualifying rounds are about to begin. I'll leave you to your preparation. Hey, so... Paimon's thinking about that whole no vision bearers rule in this tournament. I wonder if we fight if we're not, like, we'll probably refrain from using it. Like, I'm pretty sure this tournament won't let us use it just so we can stay undercover. Even though you don't have a vision, most people in Tevat think that you can't manipulate the elements without one. Yeah, that's going to draw up a lot of questions if we use it. So Paimon thinks you probably shouldn't use your elemental abilities during yeah. the tournament. Makes sense. You know, just to avoid any misunderstanding. Standings. In any case, oh God. looking at the competition, it should oh. still be pretty easy for you to win, God. even without using any elements, I'm right? I'm going to be doing hella chip damage. <laughs> All right, it's showtime. You got this. Oh. Our next competitor is seen by many as the favorite to win this tournament. You're the hero they're talking about? Ugh. How am I supposed to win now? Yeah. All right, I got you, buddy. Dude, this kid's getting his ass beat. You're getting your fucking you ass beat. Get out of here. Why was he so confident to begin with? Well, <laughs> now that we've won, 
Let's go and see Beto. She'll probably have something to say to us. <laughs> I knew I wouldn't regret introducing you as the favorite. So, what do you think, Kazuha? He totally dominated that guy and did it with style, too. Bro, these people are chumps. Impressive. But I also observed our favorite exercise some restraint, Ooh. as if to protect the opponent from serious harm. Well, I've fought my fair share of battles, both big and small. And I say, after the show he put <laughs> on just now, he's more than convinced me of his ability. So come on, we all know you've got a wide vocabulary in there. Can't you spare a word or two to congratulate our up-and-coming champion? All right. Let me think how to aptly phrase these words of praise. Ooh. Good job. You fought well. <laughs> I thought he was just going to be like, good job. Uh, all right, then. <laughs> I was thinking them. your inner poet might want to join in the fun, but I guess I shouldn't put you on the spot like that. You know, a lot of competitors came to me saying how surprised they were that Liyue's hero was entering the tournament. And since you signed up, Aww. we've had many others do the same. Oh, okay. With more than a few top-tier fighters among them. Among sure them? Lots of them are here to find out how they Sus. stack up against you. I didn't know I was so popular. <laughs> well, since everyone sees you as the one to beat, I figure I should start treating you that way too. For one thing, we don't want you wasting all your energy in the early rounds fighting people who are well below your level. True. Not to mention, Freaking you must be itching pub to fight stomping in your over here. too, right? So, I'm putting you straight through to the semifinals. Yo, thank you! Huh? But we only just started the qualifiers! Nice. Seems like a crazy system if we just skip straight to the semifinals! This is how Captain Beto works. I'm not gonna waste my time! You won't persuade her otherwise. Besides, at your level, you would have made it to the semifinals anyway. Exactly. Huh. To be fair... I was thinking that too. All right, I'm gonna watch some more of the tournament. If there's any potential contenders for you out there, I want to know who they are and what they're about. We're finally here, folks. The real show is Jesus. about to begin. <laughs> <laughs> the captain seems to have high hopes for this tournament. I have not seen her so excited in quite some time. Yeah, those camera angles are something else. Your opponent has fought many rounds to get to the semifinals. Well, this makes him a seasoned warrior. It sucks that he's gonna lose. You may well be stronger than him, but this should not give you cause to lower your guard. I won't. Very well. Show me that you are ready to push through the storm that lies ahead. All right, that's enough chit chat. That's for a now. metaphor. The audience is waiting. Go find the crew member that signed you up. She'll take you into the arena. Your opponent in the semifinals is new to the Crux Clash, but he has quickly become the dark horse of the tournament. I do not doubt your abilities, but I would suggest that you make sure you are fully prepared before you begin. Imagine it's like child or something. <laughs> Relax, my guy's at the top of his game. He ain't gonna lose. I'm ready. Okay. Follow me. At last, the moment we've all been waiting for. Whoa. The semifinals have begun. Who's it gonna be this oh. time? The hero or the dark horse? Oh, what the hell? I'm like grayed out. Oh, this is kind of cool. Oh, is it because like I don't have a vision? Like I don't have a vision, so I'm not using my abilities? That's kind of funny. Damn, no talent either? Jeez. Look at my attack though, 5,000. What the fuck? Easy clap, boys. Easy clap, boys. You gave an outstanding performance. Truly commendable. Yo, shout out to Dragonspine. That's such a good shot. You can just see it in the background. I could sense that you're not familiar with bouts of this kind. And it could have cost you the match. But you were quick to adapt and managed to claim victory over your opponent. Mm. That is a most invaluable skill. You are very observant. In fact, I discerned this not from what I saw, but what I heard. The ground beneath your feet and the pattern of your breathing. But it is nothing remarkable, for I discerned nothing more than Captain Beto did. <laughs> He's right. But in my case, I was purely relying on previous experience. I guess not using your elemental powers must be ah, quite new for you, huh? Ah, they knew it. Uh, yeah, glad it's almost over. It sure is. We wanted to ask about who our opponent will be in the final round. Do you think they'll be stronger than the one we faced in the semifinals? Not exactly. Contenders that reach the finals aren't necessarily stronger. They tend to have something unique about their style. As for the guy you'll be facing, his skill lies in his speed, and he has superior form. Mm. It's also obvious that he's seen his fair share of battles. What's the matter? Worried that you've bitten off more than you can chew this time? It's vital that we make it to Inazuma. If that is the case, then I have a proposal for you. 
Let's go somewhere a little quieter, shall we? I haven't properly introduced myself yet. In the land of Inazuma, I was a wandering samurai. Uh, yeah, we could tell that from your getup. <laughs> but at the same time, when you talk, you don't really sound like someone who's used to waving a sword around. It is true that I am versed both in literary and martial traditions. Nice. But on the straggling path of a wandering samurai, is there harm in acquiring a surplus skill? I do not mean to flaunt my martial prowess, but I myself have witnessed reputable fighters hailing from across the lands. I do possess some knowledge regarding your opponent's particular skill set. Given your talents, a few hints from me will be all that's necessary to bring your opponent down. Hang on. Don't you think you're bending the rules a bit there? Uh-oh. Gathering intelligence is an essential part of any duel. You must know your enemy. Besides, our favorite here has fought many battles on their journey from Mondstadt. Such impressive feats require more than just bravery alone. You betcha! Uh, wait a second. We never told you that we've been to Mondstadt. What the hell? <laughs> Does one not leave a trail when traveling through the wild? In return, Nature also leaves its traces upon you. Oh, this guy's like one with nature. However, there is only so much that can be discerned from these traces. I sense that many things about you elude me still. These are the things I am curious to know about. Come with me. Some post-match entertainment is in order. Follow Kaza to a more peaceful location. Now that we're alone, let me cut to the heart of the matter. You are skilled in manipulating the elements, and not just mm. a single element. But multiple. Is that correct? Ah, so you already know. Paimon knew that you were hinting at something from the moment we met. You've known all along. That's right. If the other contenders were to catch wind of your elemental abilities, let's just say it would cause some unwanted misunderstandings. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken, you share these considerations, given your reluctance to use elemental skills even in the heat of a match. Yes, but how do you know? <laughs> when I talk about that which I see or hear in you, this is not poetic symbolism at play. I mean these things in the truest sense possible. Since a young age, I have been attuned to the tidings of nature. I hear the, uh, the breath crab. of the wind and the whispers of the leaves. That crab just show up at the perfect opportunity. It is things of this nature that I also hear from within you. Nothing more. As crazy as all that sounds, somehow Paimon still believes you. My humble abilities are negligible compared to your incredible feats. To think a human could wield the elements without a vision. Am I even human, dude? I'm like from another planet. And not to mention your incredibly complex scent. Like that of some mysterious Oh beast. shit, tell us about Paimon! We don't know shit about Paimon! Hey, stop evaluating us based on our smell! It's weird! Could you perchance enlighten me as to how you managed to obtain your combined elemental abilities? All I did was touch a statue of the Seven. Hmm. Extraordinary. So then, might I be so bold as to inquire how exactly it is that you learned to channel elemental energy and even wield it in combat. It's all thanks to Paimon's companionship. Yeah, I'm gonna say companionship over knowledge. Also, Paimon looks so pissed off still. Chill out. Aw, it's nothing really. Paimon just told him whatever came to mind. It's been a long journey, and many things have happened Oh, I like the reflection the in the water Somehow, there. Somehow, he just naturally learned to use the elements to it all. Honestly, even Paimon doesn't understand how it all works. Perhaps such unfathomable things are the essence of the gods and the visions they grant. However, I still wish to have the honor of seeing how you wield the elements. Perhaps it may yet reveal something to me. Of course, I too shall share with you all that I've learned. That will make it a fair exchange. <laughs> Finally, a real battle. Now then. Oh let's shit, test your yo! But, am I about Shall to we? throw down? All in? Hit them all out. Coming to be. Nice. Easy clap, boys. Easy clap. Your skills in battle are truly beyond reproach. Even with your opponent's speed, he shouldn't be able to overwhelm you. Your opponent is skilled at controlling his breathing and maintaining balance, which enables him to execute moves that many would find impossible. Kazuha, are you literally telling us how to beat you? He relies entirely on the element of surprise to defeat his opponents. In other words, as long as you remain mindful of his ability to detect weak points, then his attack should pose no threat to you. Thank you. I will not underestimate him. Please, save your thanks. 
<laughs> if anything, I should be thanking you for the opportunity to witness your command of the elements that defies all known principles. Yeah, he's like, don't thank me yet, all right? The world is a truly mysterious place, it seems. And one will always encounter that which is still unknown. You seem kind of obsessed with visions. I was just about to say that. But don't you already have your own? Exactly. Why are you so intent on exploring the connection between visions and the elements? That's what I was about to say. I was like earlier, he just kept asking. I was like, why is he like so why is he like so gung-ho about this? You already have one. I desire to know what meaning visions have to the gods. And what influences the gods' decision to grant humans these visions? Yeah, you must think that they have like some ulterior motive, especially if they like nuked Conria because they were like a bunch of humans that didn't need like the gods or anything and they were super advanced. My apologies. You must be completely in the dark regarding such matters. For allowing me the honor of witnessing your mystical ways, I am willing to answer any questions you may have regarding Inazuma. Oh, shoot. I'm indeed in the dark, so please enlighten me. So that's what you're curious about? <laughs> then allow me to tell you more. Oh, shit, dude. I Give me all the lore, dude. As you well know, a vision hunt decree okay. is currently underway in Inazuma. Yeah, we know about that. Zhang Li told us. Visions are a gift bestowed by the divine. People that have accepted this gift are now having their visions confiscated inexplicably. Sometimes in circumstances that leave their original recipients dead. Wow. In the outset, supposing each of the seven Archons had their criteria for granting visions uh. to living beings, then does the current Electro Archon now doubt these criteria, or even the act in and of itself? And she wants to be eternal. Not to mention, with no new Electro visions having been granted for such a long time, <laughs> It would seem that we can infer something of the Raiden Shogun's feelings on the matter. No new Electrovisions being granted. Literally the gotcha. I made a theory video talking about this, but he literally says with no new Electrovisions being granted, it makes sense because when the game first came out, you got Razor, you got Lisa, you got Kaching. But like since 1.0, there have been no new Electro characters on the gotcha, and it would tie into the fact because canonically speaking, there are no electro visions being granted in the world. So MiHoYo is literally doubling down and like metagaming the lore, which is super cool. I, If that's true, I can't believe I called that so early on. She sounds less like an Archon and more like a tyrant. I mean, Beto too, but I was just making, I was just saying some examples. I wasn't going to say every single one, but you, you get what I meant. As far as I know, she is an Archon that pursues eternity. She will relentlessly carry out her will with no regard to what others may think or feel. Liyue's contracts are meant to benefit all who reside within Liyue. Mm. But what does Inazuma's pursuit of eternity bring to its people? Nothing. It's 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 li literally the antithesis of the contracts. It, it serves the Archon and no one else. It goes without saying that the people locked within Inazuma do not fare well these days. God, I'm getting some, like, old Mondstadt Decarabian vibes from her now. Sounds a lot like something that God you encountered in the beginning would do. Oh? Ooh. Have you encountered the Electro Archon before? It was already a long time ago now. With time, we will change. But the Shogun will remain the same. If you wish to find her, she will forever be there. True, she ain't going anywhere. There will come a day when I too shall wish to understand the answers to eternity from her. Oh, that's such a nice shot. God, he has really nice eyes, like red eyes. Ah, the time for your match is approaching. Oh, right. We got so distracted talking about Inazuma that Paimon forgot all Dude, about Dude, I'm the so tournament. gassed about, like, they're giving us so much Inazuma stuff now, like, I can't wait for it to drop. If you have no other matters to attend to, then we can return together. All right, let's return together. Very well. Let's go. I wish to see who will obtain the vision. Everyone, listen up! Your attention, please! We've reached the climax of the Crux Clash! This is the final match. We've seen many exciting battles today, and now at long last, the two finalists have emerged. Now I'd like to introduce our first combatant. Though few have seen him, his reputation knows no bounds. I love Beto's eye color too here. He strikes fear into the heart of Osile, <laughs> and the mere mention of his name causes even the Fatui Harbingers to turn pale in the face. <laughs> Introducing Liu as traveling hero! Murder of birds! Wow! <sighs> I've been waiting for this moment! I'm sure everyone witnessed his 
thrilling match in the semifinals. <laughs> Kazuo's just chilling over there. He's like, all right, any minute now. But today's final round will surely take things up a notch. As for our other combatant... Uh uh, he still hasn't arrived. Oh, come on, what could be taking him so long? You can't just forfeit for not showing up like in previous rounds. Damn. This is the finals. Apologies, everyone just sit tight. They've got no other choice. If he doesn't show up, we'll just have to postpone the match. Wait a moment. Something doesn't seem right about this. Captain Beto, perhaps we should check on the prize. Traveler. Come with us. Uh-oh. Did someone steal it? Let me see. That's gone, all right. The vision is missing. Huh? Did somebody steal it? Who would dare do such a thing in broad daylight? We don't know when it was taken exactly. <laughs> I never thought that someone here would have the guts to cross Captain Beto. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you done goofed. No need to worry. Even the craftiest sleight of hand does not escape nature's watchful gaze. The culprit has only acted recently. They will not have gotten far. The vision was the prize that I had offered, and it was my responsibility mm. to look after it. Yeah. I will be certain to get it back. Well, if you insist. I'll leave the matter to you then. I'll stay here and try to offer some explanation to all the spectators that came to see the match. If you would, please come with me. Um, but we're on an island. Where could he have possibly run to? Come with me. I can sense the winds are coming. Oh shit. The winds are coming, eh? Venti, where you at, my boy? I'll stay behind and explain the situation here. Just get the vision back. The spectators were all geared up to see an exciting match. I can't let them return disappointed. The winds have come at an opportune moment. Let's seize this chance. Nice. Ride the winds upward. From there, we can continue our search for clues. By the way, what made you suddenly think of checking the prize in the first place? I heard it the moment it was stolen. What? Well, then why didn't you stop him? <laughs> You'll see shortly. The winds are guiding us forward. The culprit is on the opposite shore now. Are you serious? You can hear that too? What does it sound like? Hmm. <laughs> Yo, you good? Hubris. Hubris? This way. Follow me. There may be an ambush waiting for us up ahead, but I trust that you are well prepared for such a scenario. Who is this? You caught up with me? How is that possible? Fay the Flyer? Wow, oh, some random nobody. I had even prepared a boat to ensure a quick getaway, and still you caught up to me. No boat could ever match the speed of the wind. Wind? What are you talking about? Hmm. <laughs> oh, I get it. Your vision. Drat! If I only had a vision. I mean, or, you do. if I could activate this one, then you'd never be able to catch me. This has nothing to do with visions. You may be skilled at vanishing from a crowd, but it seems you know precious little about how to conceal yourself from nature's gaze. Hey, talk to him. Additionally, your chosen escape route was flawed for reasons that are too numerous to go into. <laughs> and on top of that, I could hear your boasting and proud laughter in the wind as I was pursuing you. Damn, I, I thought it was Kazuha that was going to be the one we fought. I guess I was wrong. In other words, you failed to meet any of the basic criteria for a grand heist. Namely, speed, stealth, and style. Damn, the Phantom Thieves would not be happy with you, my friend. You... You... But most disappointing of all is the state of the vision in your hand. Uh-oh. It appears that the vision doesn't respond to human desire indiscriminately. Fine! Fine! I admit it. I've had my eyes on this vision for quite some time now. I decided to register after hearing that this fighting contest was full of a bunch of lousy fighters. <laughs> I fought my way to the finals and... Bro, you could have won. Aha! I mean... So you were supposed to be our opponent. He's, he's not going to beat us, but, you know, you made it to the finals. What the hell? I'd intended to win the contest through skill alone all along. But then you showed up. After watching the semifinals, I knew that I didn't stand a chance. But I wasn't about to give up on the vision so easily after coming all this way. Since there was no use in trying to face you in the match... I decided to put my skills to good use while everyone's Hello, attention was on you and Beto. I was convinced I prepared thoroughly for my escape, mm. but somehow you still managed to catch yeah, up to hand me. Hand over that vision, buddy. After all I went through to get it? I think not. Ah, uh, there'll be consequences if you resist any further. <laughs> I know an empty threat when I hear one. You know, according to the laws of the sea, the penalty for stealing... <sighs> He's breaking the culprit's arms. Oh boy. Kazuha, relax, buddy. I saw what you did in that teaser trailer. Don't do it to him. Huh? 
<laughs> You're not serious, are you? We'll break his arms. Damn, Nora would love you. Not to mention that the item you stole was a prize. You didn't show up for the final match, and you damaged the reputation of the captain of the Crux fleet. Damn, you fucked up, my guy. It seems that it would be only fair to brand the word thief on your forehead with a hot iron. Jesus Christ. Whoa, whoa, we don't need to go that far, <laughs> do we? Oh my god. Yo, what are they teaching you in Inazuma, my guy? I never would have guessed you could be so cruel. If this is where talking gets me, then forget it. I'll risk a fight. Into Bob. the wind. <gasps> Damn. Oh. oh my god. I'll have my revenge. Eventually. I like two piece that guy. Aw, oh, look at them. You can't tell me these two ain't twins. Come on, bruh. Look at them. No, no. Do what you want, but please. Don't brand my forehead, please. He has persevered to the bitter end. Hmm. And now death looms near. Yet still, Jesus. the gods do not bestow their favor upon him. Oh, is he trying to, like, force the criteria, like the conditions? Put down the vision and leave. I've changed my mind. No further punishment for you. Yeah, this is like an experiment. Uh huh? What's wrong? Uh Are you asking for more punishment? Damn, it just started to rain. Dude, this game loves to rain on my parade whenever I'm doing a quest. It's up to you. Such willingness is commendable and fits the way of the samurai. No, no, no need for that. Thank you for releasing me. You truly are generous. Huh? Paimon doesn't get it. Were you just trying to scare him? I take no pleasure in frightening others. I was just testing all possibilities while the vision remained in his hands. Yeah, to see if, like, the gods would be like, see him and, you know, with fortune. When people are forced into a corner, mm -hmm. that is when their greatest strength will appear. I thought it may be an opportunity for him to awaken the vision. I wonder how Kazuha woke in his vision. I can't wait to learn more of his lore. But unfortunately, nothing happened. Fucking ball is, uh, cooking up a storm again. I mean, Kazuha did say it. He was like, a storm's coming. Yes. I wanted to know whether it were possible for an extinguished vision to be reawakened. From the moment he stole the vision, I decided to use him for this experiment. Yeah. I've tried many other methods in the past, though few tales tell of a masterless vision reawakening. Mm. After seeing you command multiple elements, I figured that nothing is impossible. Come, why don't you give it a try? Let's see if you can give me the answer I'm hoping for. I'll try. <sighs> The vision didn't seem to respond at all. I see. So you are also unable to rekindle the vision. No matter. This was expected. I suppose this vision is still mine to take for now. So why are you so attached to this vision? Yeah, what's the story behind this vision anyway? The story begins with an old friend. Aww. Did you have a friend that died? Is this gonna be another venti sad story? Oh no. He was once a good friend of mine. One day he asked me about a sword art of which he had heard, Aww. the Musono Hitotachi. I told him Wait, it I can only be witnessed when divine punishment is administered. Oh. It is the pinnacle of the oh. bride and shogun's skill, a symbol of ultimate power. <laughs> but he you replied, just one of those. there must be one who can withstand Oh no, it. you there did not challenge her. There will always be those her. who dare to brave the lightning's glow. Oh, dear. Then, the vision hunt decree arrived. Uh-oh. He didn't give his vision aspirations up. were stripped away as the Raiden Shogun the, began the to construct statue they talked about. ideal of eternity. While I was fleeing from place to place, I heard that my friend had challenged the vision hunters to a duel before Damn. the throne. Damn. Damn. Did he get... Did the... A solemn yet brutal challenge. The defeated Did she face kill divine him? punishment, while the victors gain a second chance. Perhaps oh, he thought he fuck. of all people should make a stand. Coming face to face with the Musono Hitotachi oh, was all that he truly desired, after all. When I arrived at Tenchukaku, the duel was over. Wow. I heard his sentence of divine punishment, his severed blade hitting the ground. Perhaps that was the glory he had yearned to witness. Oh, his electrovision. Wait, he was in an his electro. Last moments, what expression was on his face? Before I knew it, I had stepped forward and snatched the dying vision and was running from the scene. All I knew was that I mustn't let his hope, which burned so brightly, become buried among the ice cold statue of a god. Holy shit. Perhaps one day, 
I may come to find that all I have done is meaningless. Holy fuck. Yo, Ball is a savage. She is so... That's scary as fuck. But as a wandering samurai, I find meaning in traveling and the sprawling beauty of nature that lies along the way. That was such a beautiful... While retaining the warrior way in my heart. That was a beautiful cutscene. Damn, man, he was the freaking electro character we've been waiting for! And then Ball cut him down! We saw, like, a lot of environments in that. I wish I could go back and watch that. Yeah, we saw a lot of environments, like the forest, the city, passerbys and stuff like that. There was, like, an assistant to Ball, so Ball has an assistant. Fuck, man, I feel like that's gonna be, like, her pretty crazy, insane attack that I assume we're gonna have to fight Ball, and I'm not looking forward to that, like, and then she just, like, cuts us down like a billion pieces. Oh my god. Did anyone else get, like, Sekiro vibes? That guy look kind of looked like Sekiro. <laughs> it's just another way of saying I do as I please. Yeah, his friend challenged, like, the fucking Electro Archon. I mean, he wanted to see if he, if, if someone could survive that attack, and I guess he got his answer, unfortunately. So his friend died, and that's his friend's vision. Hey, that vision can go to someone who can become the new Electro character for the gacha already. All right, then. It's time we returned. If you need to talk more, I'm here to listen. Do not let my feelings trouble you. Aww. But thank you. You know what? I really li I like him so much more now. And uh, I wonder if when he was leaving, like he was fleeing, like they went after him and they were like, give us your vision. I wonder if that like bled into the teaser, the teaser trailer that we that we saw earlier. Wow. That was, uh, that was a pretty heart-wrenching. I love the art style they did for that one too. But Ball, man, she is... Oh my God. She is a fucking force. I can't wait to see her. So we got like the silhouette of what she kind of looks like. You know, that's that's still pretty exciting. Yo, I wonder if so if Ball's gonna be on the gacha, I wonder if that's her ultimate. Like if that's her elemental burst. I wonder if we'll be able to do that same attack too. Time to oblivion! I assume, like, all the Fatui Harbingers and all Time of the go. Archons are gonna eventually be on the gacha as playable characters down the road. You know, they did it for Venti, they did it for Zhongli. Why wouldn't they do it for Ball? There you have it. The evidence speaks for itself. It's no wonder Lady Ningguang was so concerned with the security of this area. I doubt even Captain Beidou will manage to come out of all this unscathed. Huh? Did Beidou leave already? Maybe she went back to her ship. If you're looking for the captain, she was summoned by Lady Ningguang. Uh-oh. It seems that the Crux Clash got out of hand this time and has attracted her attention. Oh, no. Captain Beidou was muttering something about Ningguang being a stick in the mud as she <laughs> headed off to Liyue Harbor. <laughs> It's not unusual for those two to be at odds with one another. But still, Captain Beto was disappointed she didn't get to witness the crowning of the new champion. Hmm. She had been looking forward to it for quite some time. God, it's really still raining. The one who stole the vision was originally to be this hero's opponent oh. in the final round. I literally complained about it raining and then it stopped raining. He knew he stood <laughs> no chance of winning the match. Thus, the wicked idea of stealing the prize took hold in his mind. In which case, the Crux Clash comes to a clear-cut conclusion. The Crux Clash comes to a clear-cut conclusion. The alliteration, my guy. That's crazy. Huh? So that's what happened? If that's the case, then the rules stipulate that he is disqualified. And Yo, our hero here we is get the a champion. free ride to Inazuma. Let's go. We did nothing. Paimon thought we'd win and all, but not like this. <laughs> not like this. It doesn't matter. As the saying goes, honor given is honor deserved. Now, let me go prepare the champion's medal to award you. Nice. Yes, I believe so. Though Captain Beto is no longer present here, I'll be sure she receives word of it. She is a woman of her word, but the voyage to Inazuma is a treacherous one. Mm -hmm. You will be plagued by a perpetual tempest the entire trip. In fact, the relentless rain and wind are also an embodiment of the Raiden Shogun's will to close the nation. I said that earlier. I was like, I wonder if she, like, manifests or conjures up those storms to keep people from coming and going. Hold on a second. You're saying Yo! she can change the weather just with the power of her mind? I mean, she's Electro. What do you expect? Let us not forget that this is one of the seven an Archons. If Liyue's Morax exactly. could form Guyun's stone forest exactly. by casting down his stone spears, then it should come as no great surprise that the Raiden Shogun is capable of summoning an eternal tempest. Suffice it to say that if you wish to journey to Inazuma, the Alcor will need some time. You will be notified once all the preparations have been made. AKA whenever Inazuma comes out. In the meantime, I intend to embark on a journey of my own. Hmm. I will travel all across the vast lands of Liyue in the hope of finding a way to reawaken the vision. Paimon believes you'll find a way for sure. Thank you. 
May both our journeys prove meaningful. One final word of warning. The part of your journey that lies after the storm may well prove to be the most arduous. Hmm. Damn. Wow. What a quest, man. What a quest. Oh, we got a medal for winning. Pog. Let's go, dude. The Crux Clash Champion Medal, a medal awarded by the organizers of the Crux Clash. It is proof that you are an undisputed champion of this tournament, but it is not so much the duels you experience that you will look back on. Rather, it is the story of a vision and the pursuit of ideals. Nice. Love it, dude. Absolutely love it. This was a great quest. Damn, man. This was great. I really like Kazuha. I hope he has more more of a role i mean well i guess he's he's gonna stay in liue when we go to inazuma so i think the chances of getting a character quest from him i i i, I don't think it's possible that we're gonna get a character quest from him essentially but i mean this is the closest thing right we learned about his like his ideals of the world we understand like how he feels about inazuma he gave us way more information about inazuma than zhang li did i mean zhang li talked about the vision hunt decree when we first uh when we first got introduced to him but um or when we finished the uh when we finished the liue storyline but to learn more about like inazuma and like the the dis like the people of that place and like kazuha's and like everything that kazuha went through with his friend and like ball and how she rules that place with a with a with a lightning fist super intriguing i i i i mean i should have expected there to be another tragic event like that's something again that's something very tragic on the grounds of like stanley or venti even as like a spirit and he like takes the image of his friend and uh uh, Kazuha tries to do it in the same way by honoring his friend and carrying the hopes of his friend in that vision that he's trying to reawaken. But um, I really like Kazuha. I think his 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 fighting style is really cool. I love his kit. Um, my Kazuha can I can I can bring out like 1,200 elemental mastery out of this guy, which is absolutely insane. Um, and we're definitely gonna be trying that out when we go through the Spiral Abyss next. So I'm really excited about that. But uh, but yeah, I hope you guys look forward to that. Chat's also telling me to check out the archive, which I assume they incorporated the uh the inazuma portion of the archive with uh with the travel log yep oh look at that yep chapter two prologue sweet so we have prologue one act one two three chapter one two three uh chapter one of the traveler and then officially chapter two so we're gonna get chapter two prologue chapter two act one act two and act three as well but yeah this is uh this has been great this has been awesome i hope you guys enjoyed the story quest for uh, with kazuha and the, the prologue to inazuma most likely this is going to be uh, a big reveal for 1.7 or if they're just jumping from 1.6 to 2.0 most likely but uh yeah we are definitely going to be tackling the uh the spiral abyss next i heard that there's a crazy like animal buff going on right now today's actually the last day that it resets tomorrow so i wanted to take advantage of that to try and and test my luck and see um, how I can do at doing the Spiral Abyss, especially with a new character like, uh, like Kazuha, and especially since they just did a rework, um, or rather they gave a buff to, to Elemental Mastery, so look forward to doing that in the next run.